Good morning, guys. It's Sunday at 8.49. Um, I wanted to put a little bit of a simple challenge for you guys. Actually, one of my clients, Alex, was asking me for abs and push-up challenge. So it's not really going to be a challenge, but it's just, well, it's going to be challenging. <laughs> But um, we're going to start something very simple. I'm going to give you guys three exercises, okay? You're going to be doing those three exercises for 10 minutes long. So you're going to have five, five, and five reps. And you're going to be doing as many rounds as you can with gray form. So every single day, we're going to add one repetition. So it's five, five, five tomorrow, not today, Monday, for 10 minutes. Then on Tuesday, you guys are going to perform six, six, six for 10 minutes, seven, 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 for 10 minutes. Our goal is going to be finish every week. And can we try to do the same amount of rounds in each time you do it, but be able to increase the rep count? So we're increasing the reps, we're maintaining the same amount of time given to you, but we're trying to maintain the same amount of rounds. So I'm gonna give an example for that. If Monday I did five rounds with five reps, on Tuesday with six reps, can I maintain five rounds? And you're gonna keep going up. Okay, the first probably two or three or four days, not gonna be a big deal, but as we increase, it's going to get pretty hard. So only three exercises, we're gonna be doing a push-up, then we're gonna be doing two different kinds of crunches. Again, the main focus is gonna be to be simple. This can be an addition to your everyday, it's just gonna be 10 minutes, or this can be something that you do every other day, depending of your workout routine, okay? So first gonna be your push-ups, which I know everybody done, done it or know how to do it, but I'm gonna demo anyways. So, regular push-ups, feet just about together, shoulders that away from the ears. So those will be my five reps. As you guys know what I said before, try to bring your hands level with the shoulders, keep your feet together, embrace your abs, because we are trying to train shoulders and core. So as you guys are in that beautiful plank position, tuck your chin in so your hips and your shoulders and your rib cage is all level. You're gonna go all the way down and then you're gonna push yourself all the way up, okay? Because you're doing this on your own, go for perfect range of motion. As you get better and better range of motion, your speed is gonna naturally come along. Okay, cues that I would say will be embrace the abs, relax the shoulders, and as you're going down and up, don't forget that you need to be using your abdominals as well. Okay, second one is going to be our sit-up. So the sit-up of the day, or we'll say the sit-up of the week, is gonna look just like this. I'll show you guys on the side view. Okay. I build it a little bit Ooh, and close that door. There we go. <laughs> it looks just like this, guys. Okay, so if I was facing you guys, I would stay start lying down the floor. Alright. Main purpose now is gonna be your anterior core, right? So my setup is going to be just laying on the floor, nice strong arms over my head. Legs nice and long as well. All I'm gonna do is when I sit up, I'm gonna bring my hands underneath my leg. I'm gonna go back down and hands underneath my leg again. So one, one. You guys are gonna be doing five of those, so that's gonna equal 10. Biggest cues that I would say is, just try to make sure you guys are using your abs, not just swinging the arms to get up. That's really gonna be the biggest cue um, Come falls, elevate the shoulders too much, swinging too much. So just make sure you guys try to engage the abs as you get up. Again, right and left is one. Some of you guys are gonna realize that getting up is gonna be pretty hard. If that's the case, just try to bring your hands underneath your legs. Come back down and repeat, okay? Our goal is going to be get better and better as the week goes by. Last one, guys, we're gonna go into a side plank, okay? So our main focus overall, it is going to be lateral core, but you're also gonna be working your AD and AB doctor. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. One, two. You're gonna perform it five on the right and five on the left. Main purpose of that, I'm actually training every muscle that is close to the floor because I'm elevating my hips. And at the same time, I'm also training the inside of my leg 
legs to be able to open and close, okay? And of course, we're getting shoulder stability. So my elbows are gonna be underneath my shoulders, okay? My feet is going to be just about together. We get a little bit further, there we go. From here, arm is gonna be up, and as you can see, I have a nice flat body, a nice long spine. I'm going to lift my leg without collapsing my hip. I'm gonna to touch back down, and I'm gonna repeat. If that becomes impossible for you, that means if your hips are sagging and you feel out of control, you can bend the bottom knee, okay, keep your hips straight, and then lift the top leg. If that's what you're doing, you're gonna realize you're gonna feel a huge burn right in the glutes as well as your obliques. All right, so again, you're gonna be doing five in each side. All right, guys, it's only three exercises. I want you to put 10 minutes on the clock, and you guys are gonna perform, starting with your five push-ups, then you guys are gonna go into those five crunches, and you're finishing up with your five side planks. 10 minutes on the clock, I want you guys to write it down. How many rounds can you do in those 10 minutes, five reps? That way, every day we can increase one rep count and try to work on gaining strength and also gaining anterior core and lateral core strength. All right, team, this is your, you can start today if that's best for you, or you can also do it tomorrow, okay? If you're doing it, I would really recommend you guys to do it from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, going all the way at least into Saturday. That way we can get more and more reps as we go along. All right, guys, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning. I just finished a 55 minutes run with my awesome husband and brings a smile to my face. It was cold, really, really cold. And if you know me at all, I hate cold. But guess what? We done it. So what are you gonna do this morning to make your day better? All right, team. I'm gonna get a little closer. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, uh, looking forward to see you guys very soon. Sounds good? Whatever you're gonna do, make it a good, good day. Let's get started. In three, two, one, go.